Matt King from uh, Dearborn, Michigan. I started when I was a child. I, I sang in church uh, with my family, and uh, and then when I was a teenager and I started high school, I I was in the the choir, and uh, I, that's when I started doing my tribute to Elvis when I was 14. I'm 36 now, and uh, you know it just turned into something bigger than I thought it ever would. I told her to leave me alone. That's what she's done Just what she's done In a house built for two In a home where it's lived in by one One lonely one and I can no longer hear footsteps on the ride My mother, I grew up with my mother listening to Elvis songs, and uh, I really got into uh, the first time I heard the uh, Madison Square Garden concert. I I just thought it was awesome. I fell in love with Elvis. Graceland tour and some guy wore a jumpsuit on the tour. I, I thought that was disrespectful, but you, you'd want to just, you know, it's about Elvis this week. It's not about Elvis impersonators. It's not about anybody but Elvis, and uh, that's what the fans make it that way. Oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch alone. Time goes by so slowly And time can do so much Are you still mine? I don't 
I just, I just put, I pack my clothes. No, I've been doing it so long that it's it's almost like second nature to get everything ready and picking songs. I guess if you if that's what you mean, it's uh, probably the hardest thing because you want to do some songs that are obscure because you're you're in an area where there's concentrated Elvis fans that know all the obscure weird songs that are great. You know. I'll need you. I'd say the 70s just because uh, I love the arrangements, I love the horns, the violins, the big, uh, you know, uh, JD Summer and the Stamps and the Sweets all together. It's just, it's a huge sound and I just, I love it. Lonely rivers cry, wait for me, wait for me. I'll be coming home, wait for me. Oh my love, my darling, I hunger for your kiss. I think, uh, I don't know if there is a really uh, a true difference. I think uh, the, uh, how can I say this? I guess uh, when you say impersonator, it has a, a worse connotation to it. You kind of think of the campy guys jumping out of a plane in a jumpsuit with a fake wig, you know, real crappy wig. But uh, a tribute artist, I think, is someone that takes uh, doing a tribute to Elvis more serious. And, uh, and you know, kind of hones their profession to try to do the best they can, have good suits, and, and look as much like Elvis as they can, sound like him, and, and move like him. I need your love. I need your love. God needs your love to. officer and I was going to school to do so and they kind of thought I was nuts but uh, the captain told me you got to cut that hair off and I told him where to shove it so <laughs> I, I chose Elvis over being a police officer but I guess I could be both. <laughs>